I've got my hands on a Sightmark Wraith 4K Max. Uh, this is the next evolution of Sightmark's Wraith digital day and night optic scope. It's been uh, heavily anticipated, it was announced at SHOT 2020 in Vegas, and the production units are now becoming available. So we're not going to do a real thorough unboxing, just want to show you um, what the retail box has on it. You got uh, multicolor reticles. 3 by 24 by 50 comes with an IR uh, illuminator 850 nanometers rated with the package it's got some specs here on the back that camera resolution is uh, ultra high definition 4k and it does have a uh, included mount as well I can tell you I have the scope already mounted to a rifle. So here's what the interior of the box looks like. The eye cup was in here. Uh, the scope laid in here. Comes with a quick start guide, a cleaning cloth, and then the included IR eliminator with a straight riser mount. I said be four positions off, low, medium, and high. Runs on two CR-123s. All right, so I'll roll in some footage uh, from the range and then bring you back here. All right, I'm out here with the Wraith 4K Max from Sightmark Digital Night Vision and Daytime Scope. Right now I'm on 4K, 30 frames per second resolution. Uh, I'll get my chronograph out of the way here shortly. Uh, but the test that I'm doing right now is just an initial zeroing test of the scope, the optic, on a 6mm arc barrel. Uh, the targets you see are at 100 yards. I will try to, as I said, get the chronograph out of the way and then give you a clear view of all those targets and some various resolutions. The heads-up display you cannot see in the recorded image. So right now I'm at native magnification and it says one times digital magnification. So as I call this out, I'm going to be calling out the digital magnification level that's in the lower left of the HUD that you can't see. Alright, 1.0 native magnification. 1.5 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, and 8 times. So this is max digital 8 times zoom. I'll try to achieve zero. I believe I have the focus pretty much spot on. Check it. The Wraith 4K has a uh, built-in uh, throw lever onto the front focus ring that is handy. Allows you with uh, relative ease to make those adjustments from top dead center uh, at 100 yards. Uh, okay, so Earlier I fired around with my point of aim being the center large bullseye like I'm holding now. The shot impacted right here. So I need to stop recording, go into the menu, and go ahead and make a one-shot zero adjustment. And when I come back 
on the uh, recording here. We're going to take a shot dead center and see if it hits. All right, we're back. I'll chamber around. I'll zoom in to six times. One shot, that's a large center peel and stick. Okay, so after one shot, zero. I'll go down and verify, but I believe that shot impacted directly above about an inch right here. Which is about perfect for what I want to do with the 6mm arc. An inch high at 100 should be dead on it too. So I'll verify that here shortly. And then we will take uh, three shot groups here and three shot groups here. All right, I made uh, the verification, went down range, and that one shot zero point of impact was about an inch high of the bullseye at 100 yards. So in using the one shot zero function, I took the first point of impact here, made the adjustment, and the very next shot, we're ready to go. So I'm going to leave it there, and we're going to shoot a three shot group on this target here. The ammo that I'm using today is Hornady Black 105 grain boat tail hollow point factory load for 6 millimeter arc. Velocity is right at 2620 in my 18 inch barrel. Go ahead and go all the way up to eight times magnification. All right, while we're letting the barrel cool in between groups, I've put the scope 720p at 200 frames per second. And I'll give you just a quick viewing of the targets out there. This is at 1.0 digital magnification, so base magnification. Take it up halfway to four times. And all the way to eight times. You can see the words are not really visible on the targets. While scanning side to side, the image is crisp and quick to refresh, but the detail. I mean, it's pretty good at native magnification. Uh, 720p is no slouch. But uh, right at, I would say, right at about three times, it starts to block up pretty good any further beyond three times. Okay. Give you All right, this is 1080p, 60 frames per second. There'll be a review video in the future that really gets into every single resolution and frame rate. But today, initial uh, initial use is simply going to be three resolutions that I pick out here. So we're at four times, and the detail and clarity is very good as is the refresh moving side to side. What I look for on the side to side movement is there's no waviness or lag. And there is none. Eight times, max zoom.
see these targets work very well. Uh, that's a birchwood casey there. Uh, it's a very good target for uh, zero. In. This one you can still make out the cross the cross lines in the white area, which is nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the 1080p 60 frames per second. It looks really good. All the way up to seven, eight times. All right, and then uh, 4K and the Sightmark Wraith 4K Max indicates uh, ultra high definition uh, capabilities in this Wraith model. Uh, right now I'm at one times base magnification, 30 frames per second 4K. I can tell you through the viewfinder I can see minute details in the terrain, the, the foliage, grass, shrubs, and sand uh, berm behind. And this looks really, really good. And then eight times. You've already gotten a sample of that today, but here it is looking at all various targets. You can read the words now on the target at 100 yards. And on this model of the Wraith, it has audio capability in the recording, so that's also an enhancement that's welcomed uh, from the previous Wraith model. Tell you what, I've been using digital a long time, and uh, this scope has hit a number of check marks, uh, whether that be clarity, um, no loss of focus during shooting today, no loss of recording, uh, corruptions or anything of that like. I mean, the scope is just ready to run, so why don't we shoot another three-shot group, 100 yards, 4K, 30 frames per second. From behind the scope, I feel like I can really place some accurate shots at the 8 times digital magnification. Didn't feel that way with previous iterations and models of digital optics. I mean, you got to think in the last 10 years, we've progressed from uh, monochrome, black and white, colored, daytime digital optics um, to higher resolution sensors and refined viewing near eye displays and uh, here we sit now with 4k capability and this feels great I mean I'm able to get right in close I'll have to go down and check what those groups did but uh, no fault of the optic if there's any uh, large variance in the group size that'd be on the shooter All right, so uh, here's the target from the initial range session with a Sightmark Wraith 4K Max. Uh, I was astounded with its features and performance today. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, I've been uh, using digital scopes for many, many years, and uh, to me, Sightmark has hit the ball out of the proverbial park with this one. And uh, so the first three-shot three group that I shot uh, two of the shots are here, and then one there that measures out at 0.917 inches center to center. And then the last three shot group measures out at 0.472 inches center to center. And just as a frame of reference on what that rifle is capable of, I had my loop hold 8 by 8.5 by 25 
uh, with the target reticle and this is what that was averaging five shot groups with the loop hold I got uh, just under an inch and about three quarters of an inch so there was absolutely no loss in accuracy for me moving up to the Sightmark Wraith 4K Max and I can tell you having used digital scopes before at 100 yards uh, this was not easy to accomplish and the 4K Max made it seem uh, relatively pedestrian to uh, to shoot good groups so I am uh, looking forward to bringing you some more review videos uh, here shortly some hunting videos and uh, this channel and I myself am not a dealer I do not sell these products so this is just consumer information look up uh, the Wraith 4K at your local dealer your favorite dealer and uh, get in line for this one guys